looking into the next category, which kind of is a little more focused around exercise, I thought it'd be helpful to maybe start with a few anchoring things that you talk about often. And just so people can kind of understand where you put VO2 max and that, that's importance and muscle mass and that's importance on this scale. And so obviously we don't have to get into these because there is an insane amount of content on those. But if you had to summarize quickly where you would rank them on the scale that we're doing today, where would you put VO2 max? Where would you put the importance of muscle mass? Um, and by the way, with muscle mass, I would put muscle strength, right? Because we really think of muscle mass as a proxy for strength. But I would say that those are the two closest things you could put to proven, right? Like they would be right up there with smoking cessation. They would be right up there with, you know, blood pressure management. So again, there's, you can't prove anything in biology, but boy, the probability that having a high VO2 max, high muscle mass and high muscle strength are going to increase the length of your life and improve the quality of your life, that probability is so high that to act in disregard of that is irresponsible. That's what I really mean by proven. Um, so what can I say? I mean, I, there's very little on this topic I have not you know, expounded on, uh, both on this podcast and, and, on, and on others and social media. I mean, this is a topic I... I, I can't say enough about because the magnitude of the effects is so much greater than everything else. And you, you, can, you can see, Nick, why I get animated and why I get phosphorylated when people ask me about resveratrol and sirtuin activators and NAD and NR and they're not exercising, right? Or they're exercising, but their exercise is totally JV. And it's like, wait a minute, you are picking up pennies in front of a steam train fighting over basis points of theoretical possible benefits of something and you're completely missing this other thing over here um and and you know you've heard me tease you know folks including patients sometimes and say look once you're once you've got your vo2 max here and your muscle mass here and your strength here then we can talk about you know the 37 supplements that you're interested in taking um so you know i, I don't know nick how much more do you want me to say on that that i haven't already said no, I think that's good. And we'll link to it in the show notes to all the other places. I think sometimes it's helpful for people, or at least even myself included, is, you know, understanding where these things rank and how they compare to others, right? Which you hit a really important point, which I've heard you say over and over and over, internal, external, which is if you're worried about taking all these geoprotective drugs and you want to take them, that's your prerogative. But if you think that's going to save you from needing to exercise, needing to have muscle strength, needing to have a higher VO2 max, it maybe is not the best risk mitigation strategy. And I think how you look at all this is how can you mitigate the risk of not being capable of having a longer lifespan, but also even more importantly, a better health span. Yep. I, I do say a lot that even if exercise had no effect on lifespan, so it was lifespan neutral or be more dramatic, even if exercise slightly shortened your lifespan by a year, um, it's undoubtedly worth it for the improvement in the quality of your life, both physically and cognitively, and in many cases, emotionally. I mean, we, that's a much harder one to quantify. Um, but, but I think that's there. And, and I guess the other point I will make to bring it back is like, why is it that VO2 max muscle mass and strength stand out as the, the, the greatest predictors of lifespan, which they do, right? They, these stand out as far greater predictors of lifespan than cholesterol levels, blood pressure, blood glucose, all of these things that clearly relate to how fast you're going to live or die. Um, even smoking is a, is a worse predictor of lifespan. Um, than your fitness level. Uh, and, and the reason I think is just, it speaks to how potent exercise is as a tool to impact the cellular processes of aging. But it also speaks to the fact that you can't cram for the test when it comes to these tests, right? So if a person has a high VO2 max, they have been doing a lot of exercising for a long time. That doesn't have to mean their whole life, but they didn't just decide, a, you know, a week ago, oh, 
I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of unfit, but I'm, I'm going to start exercising and I'm going to get fit. No, 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 no. If, if, you're, if your VO2 max is in the top two or 3% of your age group, you've been at this for a while. And therefore the VO2 max measurement is really an integration of work that you have done. And the same is true for muscle mass and more importantly for muscle strength. So these things like why is, you know, grip strength always comes up as this incredible predictor of mortality. Is it because being able to squeeze things with your hand is especially important? Yeah, there's probably some edge cases, but it's what does it imply if you have high grip strength, right? You know, again, you didn't just wake up and have high grip strength. By definition, you have been lifting and carrying heavy things. You have been using your hands aggressively, manipulating things, carrying, squeezing, all of these things, pulling, right? And it's that work that is being captured through the integral of the final metric or the test. And we won't get into it too much here, but one of the questions we always get asked is, by people in older populations, 50 plus, is it too late for me to start exercising? And we have a special episode that will be coming out in a few weeks dedicated to that. So for those of you who are maybe haven't been exercising, you're wondering how to start and you are in that older category where you don't want to get hurt, that will be a really good resource there.